For your Fiesta Super Bowl, you will need one can of drained and rinsed black beans or cooked from dried, one green bell pepper, one red bell pepper, about one and a half cups of frozen or fresh sweet corn, two Roma tomatoes, two cloves of garlic, a small handful of chopped cilantro, the juice of one lime, and one sweet yellow onion. Okay guys, we are gonna do this without Erin because she is never ready. We're gonna make canned black beans. Hey guys, it's Erin and Dusty, and welcome back to Eat, Move, Rest. So we're in the kitchen again today because we have some festivities coming up, and we want to share with you guys our Fiesta Super Bowl. It's going to go in a Super Bowl for none other than... The Super Bowl. <laughs> so we have a thing where we never show up to any party, football game or holiday party, whatever, empty-handed. It's easy to show up and have nothing to eat if you don't eat animals. <laughs> so we started bringing things like this and we thought with Super Bowl coming up, we'd share it with you guys. Enjoy. So first things first, you're gonna want to saute your onion and garlic. And no, first you need to chop your veggies. Uh-huh. <laughs> chop your red and green bell pepper. Chop, Rinse. chop your tomato. Rinse them beans. Chop the onion and garlic. And then we can saute. If and you want to. Since he won't let me play with fire, we're gonna let Dusty do the sauteing. Yep. sauteed the onion and garlic with a little bit of salt and pepper. All you have to do is dump everything into your Super Bowl. And I should also mention, if you are making this for a crowd, double the recipe. Maybe triple it, however much you need. This will last a good couple days in the refrigerator as well, so the more the better. not be a Fiesta Super Bowl without cilantro and the juice of a lime. So I'm just going to take my citrus press and juice it up. Okay, are you ready to party? Let's get all up in this Fiesta. rooting for, but I'm rooting for Team Veggie. <laughs> <laughs> now, part two of our Super Bowl dip and game time fun recipes are guacamole. We're going to show you guys a quick, simple, loaded guacamole. Okay, so for the loaded guacamole, you can make it with as many ingredients as you want or as simple as you want, but the main ingredient is going to be your avocado, and then lime and cilantro really make it extra tasty. And then to load it up today, we're gonna add a little bit of red onion and one Roma tomato. and I 
just added the cilantro and the squeeze of lime. And then it can be helpful to mash it with a fork before you add in the tomato and the onion, so I'm gonna do that next. Okay guys, now we have both dips ready, and to get these from point A to point B, you need a vehicle, or multiple vehicles. So we've got here your organic blue corn chips. Non-GMO. Non-GMO, of course. <laughs> some romaine boats that have already started to chomp on. Carrots, and some cabbage. These purple cabbage dippers are a great replacement if you want to go raw with it. Scoop it on in. Chomp it down. <laughs> okay, if you guys like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below. Stay up to date. You can hit the bell notification. That'll turn on notifications for you. You'll get alerted when we put new videos out and leave us comments, let us know what you thought, and be sure to check out the blog at eatmoverest.com for more pictures, the full recipe and details, all kinds of other health and wellness tips and tricks. It's all there for you guys. No, let me talk to you. No, <sighs> we need to say something else. The nice thing about using one of these bowls is that you pop the lid on it. Works great to shake it up, and mix it, make it in advance, store it in the refrigerator, good to go. I don't know who you're voting for, 